Hi everybody, welcome back to Clav Bricks. Today we're going to be building the final Jewel 1 set that I managed to resource all the parts from all of my previous other sets that I've destroyed. Um, I thought I would rebuild this just because in the last video I showed off the Darth Vader um, and the Emperor Palpatine. Um, and I just thought if I still have the instructions, well, I might as well just rebuild it for you guys um, and show you guys that... Um, you know, it is possible to rebuild your old sets. You just have to go through the effort of sorting through everything, which I want to talk about in a separate video one day. Maybe I'll do a sorting video of some kind, just because I have literally five tubs just worth of unsorted Lego that I need to go through. Um, but anyway, we're just going to go through and build this um, today. Yeah, this set here, the Final Jewel 1 set. I do have Final Jewel 2. I just don't know where it is at the moment. Um, but... Perhaps we'll make a series of rebuilding my old Legos, um, and then we can also rebuild some new ones as we go. All right, guys, welcome to the build portion of the video. Um, as you can see, hopefully, I've worked out the issues with focus. <laughs> I probably haven't. It'll probably still be blurry. Um, but this is the original Final Jewel set. It even has the Twin Pod Cloud Car, which I never got, or the Ewok Attack, both which are amazing sets that I never actually got. Um, which is depressing, but it's good to see. And then if you fold out the back, you can see there's Final Jewel 2, which I do have. Um, and then the Trade Federation Army. I also have that with the Droidica. Um, I'm just missing some parts for Obi-Wan and um, Qui-Gon Jinn. So we can get into the building portion of the video now. Um, obviously, the minifigures are already made. And Palpatine has the incorrect um, walking cane. That's because I couldn't find any of my old Harry Potter ones. I literally do not know where they are. They're just so hard to find because they're so small. Um, and then I've also got Darth Vader, which is a misprint, um, I believe, because he looks to the right instead of straight ahead, um, which is weird. I still have no idea what that's about, um, but hopefully we can clarify that in the future. So this is set 7200, um, and I think it was like a big inspiration for some of the battle packs that sort of followed nowadays. Um which is cool. Like, I love the battle packs, especially some of the ones that we have um, for the clone troopers. They're amazing. So that's sort of the best part about this, or not this, these sets, um, because they inspired so many future Lego sets, especially the Star Wars ones. This piece is weird. I think they use them on the TIE Fighters as well, um, which is why they have these pieces at the front. Um, and they're also printed on, which is really, really cool, but they're also just really weird. Um, just because I don't think they make them anymore. They print like a cylinder and that's it. And then you use like a, a couple of um, stick... I can't remember what they're called, but they're like stick into another piece and then you can like lever them in and out um, anyway. But that's the step they're up to there. It's not a very long booklet at all. It's actually quite small, all things considered. Um, and it just makes it sort of an easy build, which is why it came with the Final Jewel um, set 2 which I think also has like a remastered set, but it's obviously unrelated um, to this one. It's just related to the movie. Now put that piece on there. So you can see this is sort of the scene at the end of episode six where Palpatine's in his chair. Um, we're gonna build that portion of the chair now. Uh, I even managed to find the control pieces. Luckily, these were like the first thing I pulled out of my Lego sorting box which i thought was amazing because the odds of me actually doing that um, was probably like one in a hundred and i managed to still pull it off um, which is really really good to be honest i would have been there for hours searching if i couldn't find them and that would have annoyed me um, so as you can see the chair's coming along nicely just like that and then we just put the finishing touch on the top and that just sits on there like that which is a bit flimsy but it still works as a chair regardless and then it just sits um, on here I think in the middle. So like that. And then you got Emperor Palpatine. I don't really want to bend him, so... Because the capes are all worn due to their age. Um, so I don't really want to bend him. But um, yeah, he'll sit in there. Just like that. And yeah, that's that's Final Jewel 1. It, <laughs> I know there wasn't much to it. Um, I'll give you a quick sort of zoom around of the set. Um, just to show you guys what it looks like up close. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all that there is to it. So as you guys can see, there isn't really much to the set aside from the ability to spin the chair around um, and that the window sort of sticks out like that. 
Um, but it's just a really basic set that came out probably in like 2000 and something. It's like 2003, maybe. Does it have a date on the thing? 2002, I reckon. It says trademark 2002. So there you go. That's why it's so simple. Um, but it's a really, really fun set if you've got all the sort of um, mini figures that go with it. So actually opening it out the box, um, which I've seen a few unboxing videos for, and going through the mini figures and actually building them, um, that's the best part in my opinion. So it's definitely worth getting if you haven't got it. It's just nice because you can probably sit it on like any desk. So like if you've got it next to your desk, you just spin the chair. Like I spend so much time just at my desk just spinning things really um, and playing with random stuff. So it's kind of one of those sets that you just sort of have for like a mini display. Um, or actually it probably would fit in a mock. Um, you just have to move it around um, and make it a bit larger. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I know it's sort of shorter video again. Um, and that it wasn't super important, but I just thought I'd show this set off and just make sure I've got it, you know, listed in case I ever sell it.